Some situations call for more than just the basic patient pickup and transport. These are referred to as technical rescues. Technical rescues require the air crew to use special equipment and methods to get to and extract patients in rough enclosed or inaccessible terrain. If damage to the helicopter's rotor blades is not a factor, the air crew can hover the aircraft close enough to the location of the victim. This is called a one and one or a one skid landing. In a one skid landing, the skid lands on the zone surface. In a one and one, the skid is positioned one foot above and one foot away from the zone surface. Depending on the condition of the victim, the in-flight medic or corpsman will exit the aircraft. Then determine if the victim can enter the aircraft with the corpsman's assistance, or if the victim needs to be loaded in the aircraft with a litter. If the aircraft cannot get close enough for a one-on-one, -on -one, the corpsman can repel into the zone. In a repel, the aircraft is hovered directly above the zone and the corpsman repels down to the victim. Once the corpsman has repelled to the victim, he is given time to assess the victim, give the necessary first aid, and decide which method of extraction to use. There are generally two types, hoisting and short haul. With both methods, patients can be extracted in the litter or in a specialized vest. Each situation will vary, but almost all technical rescues will involve the hoist. Short hauls are generally used as a last resort, such as in the event a hoist has failed, or in any other scenario in which a short haul would benefit the victim more than hoisting. Hoisting involves lifting the corpsman and victim out of the immediate area, then hoisting them into the cabin. The weight limitation on the hoist is restricted to 600 pounds, but the hoist can be operated without a cooling period. The corpsman has two hoisting options, a single or dual hoist. In a dual hoist, the victim is attached to the hoist along with the corpsman, and both are lifted out together. The weight is first lifted with the aircraft by very slowly increasing altitude until full tension and weight is on the cable. The two are lifted until clear of the immediate terrain. Once clear of the hazards presented by the surrounding terrain, the corpsman and patient are hoisted into the cabin and proceed directly to the hospital. A single hoist is used in a situation where the corpsman and victim exceed the weight limitations of the hoist, or if there are two patients to extract. In this case, only the victim is attached to the hoist. The corpsman stays on the ground and stabilizes the litter with his repeller rope. Once the victim is safely inside the cabin, the corpsman is lifted in the same manner as a dual hoist. In the case of two patients, the corpsman will be lifted with the second patient, unless weight restrictions prevent him from doing so.